Hey guys, I'm not going to waste your time with introductions on this episode. We've been waiting far too long for this game, so let's just get straight into it. Maybe not straight into it once we've created our save data. Accept everything. You can have my soul from soft. Can we not go faster down through this? Ah, oh, we can. So much for diving straight into it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm signing my soul away to Activision. Probably not the best idea. Yeah. I can speak Japanese. Okay, new game. If you don't know me, my name is Hayden and this is HFT Gaming. Welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Blah 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 blah. Prefer the Vegeta era myself, man. Looks like it's spread all over his face anyway. Jesus, man! That's a bit much, isn't it? Oh, ooh. We like it in the neck, huh? Hickeys all around. I can imagine not. Like if I was to put my money on it. Hey, come on now. I prefer a lad to take me out for a drink before he tries to pierce me with his halberd. Fine size window, I wouldn't say. Uh. Laura will be around later to kind of do some backseat gaming, so I probably shouldn't be talking absolute shite because she will put me in my place. This is very Oberyn Martell versus the mountain, isn't it? He didn't waste his time though with any of this poison shite, he just went in straight for the kill. Well done. He had a wife and kids. Why would you do that? A bloody coup. This looks very like that level from Neo, the Battle of Segigahara. One of the few good parts of that game. What is this? This looks like me. Oh, is this going to be our Guardians of the Galaxy moment? Don't. That's fucking grim. Cutting a child. It's Mary Poppins, yo! <laughs> Starving Wolf. But yeah, I've nothing else to do. I'll get out my Walkman there and start playing some tunes. Dancing along the battlefield like Star Lord. And then he took on some knockoff versions of Batman, Terminator, Godzilla. Revenge Shinobi. You're not my real dad, Andre. Go back to smithing. I will, yeah. No cost too great. Hollow Knight reference. Check out that Let's Play if you haven't already that I did. Self-promo. We're only like two or three minutes in. There's our bonfire down there. So I've seen a few like videos over the past year from people from like the RKG guys, Vadividia, Sunlight Blade, Lobos Jr. Every, everyone, IGN, Kotaku, everyone has been putting up videos. I've seen like the kind of snowy temple area of this game. I'm not familiar with anything else. The troll that you can kill with fire. That, that's, that's my extent, my knowledge extent of this. あしなの国は社用にあり狼の忍びは全てを失っていた育ての義父も守るべきある事もああジェイズ、そういうことだ。This is pretty dope. Bit of schnock. Bit of Here we go, Umbrella Academy time. I just finished watching that. I'm going through my emo phase at 27, Jared Way. Some banging tunes from that man, along with a good Netflix show. Or is it Hino Enma? Shinobi. 
I know. Don't be coming around my house now putting those pamphlets in. I have absolutely no interest in your god. Piss off, my lawn. I'll squirt you with the hose, love. He looks wrecked. He's actually only 19. It's just the stress of being a teacher is what done it to him. Anyone in a post of responsibility with teenagers, your hair goes wicked grey very early. Oh, this looks stunning. I've been playing so much Dark Souls with Loa recently. Like, I know it's a nine-year-old game, even the remastered version. Nothing. This just looks absolutely stunning compared to it. Let's pick up the item. An ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower baited in moonlight. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I have experience with moons and from soft games. It doesn't tend to end well. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Be pure. Behave. Be vigilant. My first Manic Street Preacher's reference of the game. Oh, we're swimming already. I also knew you could do that. I've seen, like, that little pot man. Can we get up here? Oh, Jesus. What's going on? We're like... Oh, no. Looks like I've gone arseways. Do I have a prosthetic thing yet? No. Oh, this is arm like all jelly like. No. Still just his actual arm. That's fine. Okay, X is to jump, to jump. In your wall. Wall jump. It's not double jump. Okay, can we climb up this ladder? No, we can't. Surely we can. Do you have to interact with it in some way? Oh, no, it's just another double jump. The Ashina Reservoir. I keep going, I'm, I'm drawn to this direction for some reason. Even though there doesn't seem to be anything up here. Except the schna. Beautiful, beautiful schna. I've had bad experience with, with snow in video games recently, mainly the Arianda level of Kingdom Hearts 3, which was an absolute atrocity. Didn't even get Elsa in our party. It's fire. We don't need to go... Solid snake, or old snake. Toggle wall hug. Even though, yeah, this is meant to be quite metal geary, isn't it? We do the hook if shimmy. Oh, L towards the edge while hugging wall to peek. See a bad guy there. Over there, little his little hat. We'll stop hugging the wall. How do we? Stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. You stealth to avoid enemies and head to the moon view tower. If you've been seen, warning markers appear above the enemy's head. Little exclamation marks. Okay, toggle crouch. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that sums me up just about right. <laughs> Tied up in some dominatrix chamber with no will to live. No self-respect either. Or self-love. Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath floors when crouched. Uh -huh, so we're going under here. Under the floorboards. Spend quite a lot of time doing that. Just eavesdropping on people. The moonlight shines strongly on the moon view tower tonight. Probably. Ah, these lads have hearts. I will regret killing them. Yeah, he's a villain. No one calls... Have, do you not know of this little lad called Voldemort? If you have Lord in your name in contemporary pop culture, you're more than likely a bad guy. Sure, I'm, am I going to go off an edge here now? No, we're grand. Stunning. I also don't have my glasses on, so it's quite hard to see anything. I have to wait for herself to bring them down from Dublin later. Oh, shite. Dropping down does not look like it would be a good idea. There's the moon. 
give me my sight and, let me, and my wheelchair for German. Oh, we're going to, it's going to be loaded platforming in this, I imagine. That is beautiful. It looks like a uh, Irritable Valley. Say when you first kind of come out of the, what is it? Cartus? Cartus tomb? And you see the Irritable Valley in Dark Souls 3. Uh, okay. And in here, ah, square. Cool. Coolabula. Let's get through this. Climb. A lot of back and forth between these now. <clears throat> hey, that's my lad. Hello, young master. I like your haircut. Yes, it is I, the mighty wolf. <laughs> Sorry about that. From this mortal coil. Death is our only salvation. I do not want to live without you. Absolute hipster with his man bun. How much do you think he spends on coffee? I'm not going to remember the name of that sword. We call it Kush. The Kushinator. I will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that sword there. Oh, yeah. Give us a few yo-yo beans as well and I'll be off. Guard you no bother. It's a mighty fine necklace you have there. Do you want to give us that too, yeah? This is actually a mugging. The Kush, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Hirata family, a dead branch descended from Ashina. Once taught lost, it was found its way back to the hands of the wolf. The name Kush beseeches a shinobi's rule is to kill. But even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra that the blade itself may manifest. I will show no mercy. How do I attack? Not R1, obviously. I'm just pushing all the buttons. None of them are working. That was the jump. Let's talk. Loyal wolf. I am, yeah. Do you have a few euro for the doctor? I don't want your gourd, man. Right, so that's my Estus, basically. After what, lad? Don't remember a thing? This fucking Langer is. Grandia, I'll find it. You stay here. See a goodie or a baddie? Sounds like a euphemism. I'll find your mad secret passage. Oh, I used to do it long ago. That's how you were born. Using quick items. Okay. More uh, no square you speed to heal, wasn't it? For my Estus and any item. Okay, so where should I be after? Open to what? I won't. Oh, do I have to heal? Do I have to equip? Grand. I only have one heal and it doesn't do much. That is not good. Have to get me some of those Jojo beans. Posture and depth does. The shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Attack after breaking posture death blow. So it's door one. Just spam or one. Or one parry. This lad. This lad's gonna die. 
I wondered the sound effects dealt. I'm a snake. Ah, balls! I was a snake in another life. Boom. Glancing around here to some wheelbarrows. That ain't for me. I'm a wolf man. I'm a gangster. Right. On and on we go. Oh, balls. I should have been snaking. Deflection. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attack to achieve swift victory. <sighs> okay, we're going to try this. That didn't work. Jesus, get up, man. Come on. Yeah. Not my best of ideas. I think I'll just stick to spam an R1 until we get a few more ecstasy things. Yeah, hey, I know how to lock on. Whoa. Let's go up here first. I haven't come Spider-Man. Oh, Jesus. How haven't you seen me? Come on. Yes. I just want to get into the habit of parrying as much as possible in the beginning because as far as I know, it's quite a big thing in this game. So I just want to make sure that I'm giving myself the best chance at beating it. What's going on here? Oh, this is just back to where I was. This is where we started. Love that. That's that famous from soft level design there. Intricate, interwoven. Falling back in on itself. There's no way of... Oh, shit. I wonder, can I do, like, a jump attack? Bushido! Yes, I can! Yes, I can! Come on. You're dead! And people were saying this is harder than Dark Souls. Is there two of them? There is. Snake. Sure, let's just... Fuck! It's actually easier just to deflect and parry. Jesus! That's me dead. Well then. That was embarrassing. And we're only at the tutorial. Come on, you silly boys. Okay, got through them quicker than the last time at least. Still not doing great, I had to use my gourd. Oh, go away, a boss already! Not having that now, what's he doing? Sure, he's stuck in the wall. Counter slash, counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. L1 at the moment deflect after deflecting. Oh, there's a lot of like clickety clickety clackety clack. Come on. Okay, that's my... Come on. Come on. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. That's the first one. Right in the jugular. So you have to get rid of the two counters. Oh, come on. Oh, he almost has me staggered there. <sighs> Shite! Shite! Come on.
I'm doing a lot of cursing in this. I'm sorry. I'm, my adrenaline is just pumping with the new game. <sighs> You're gonna die now, by. Oh, maybe not. Shaky. Come on. Doing better than last time, at least. Alright. You can't get. Don't be getting greedy, Hayden! Thank God Laura's not here because she would be slagging me some load for this greediness. It's my constant thing to her. Shield up! Don't get greedy! Come on. Come on. Come on. Shite. Yeah. Got you in a corner. I'm not doing good. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down from generations to these lands. Records say that it has gone used in battle since long gone and the land had famous resilience of Shino warriors. A pill can cause something. Sorry, I was looking over at the laptop to see that everything was recording. Okay. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Yep, yeah, grand. Battle charms. That's what we want. What's in here? Give me all your secrets. Fist full of ash. 45. Ash script and so what sticking dust. Throw it in and distract them. Okay. So it's like an alluring thing. Does not open from that side. Typical. Right. Let's at least get to our first bonfire before we call it an end to this episode. This, I've not seen this part of the game at all, at all. I thought it was a big snowy world that we were in for nothing down here. Okay, let's up again. He has some movement on him, to be fair. Like, you were probably meant to skimmy along that edge, but, like, no, no. Dun, dun, dun. It's a bit awkward having to push that square. Oh, eavesdrop. Go guard it. Little vulture. Okay, so there's a secret moat somewhere along here. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. You're not going to say anything else interesting. Oh, should I drop down? Ooh, this is scary. Ah! No debt. I lost a lot of health, though. What is that? The big gecko lizards. How are you, Rango? Let's see if I can... Shite. Are they hostile? I'm more scared of these than I was of men. Mainly because I've made a bit of progress. Grand! Silly lizards. Come back to me there. I'll scale you. Very gruesome deaths, in fairness to the game. I can't tell. Like, they don't seem to be hostile. Should I be killing them? Or am I just being, like, a big scumbag? Uh, okay, it doesn't... I missed something quite clearly. You can only wall jump once. Let's have a look-see. There doesn't seem to be any way of getting around there. Hug wall. Why would I want to hug the wall? No. 
Okay, maybe we're meant to be going up the way instead of down. I get very confused. I can't see where I am. Ooh, this looks precarious. Maybe I did the wrong thing by coming down here. Doesn't seem like it, though. There seems to be a whole bit of ledge around. Aha, no. We're grand, we're grand. At least I thought we were. We're not. Oh. Is that not a bit of... A bit of land ahoy? Here we go. Absolute knob jockey. Alright, hug wall, across we go. Well, that's just added about 15 minutes. That very much so was my trying to get out of the cell at the start in Neo again. Should I go up and chop up these lads to take out my frustration? No, I can't do that. Hug it! What was that? There was something blue and glowing there. It was like a titanite lizard. Or maybe that was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Once again, not wearing my glasses when I should be. Very, very much so should be. Inspect. This appears to be a escape route called the Divine Air with the reed whistle. Yeah. A bit of Lou Reed. That was terrible. That wasn't even a joke. I just said a person's name. How did you get that? I suppose I slaughtered everyone in the way. You might want to put on some shoes, man. Can't be safe. I did! Let us leave this horrid place. Where will we go? Dicey's. You gotta run, 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 run. My gaff. Yeah, are there. It's because I don't give a shite, man. I just could not care less. Do whatever you want. I'm like Ricky Gervais in Afterlife. I can just die whenever I want, like, I'll just kill myself. It's my superpower. Oh, this is stunning. Very, very nice. Oh, we just reckon something. Some stones. I was trying to get the drop on them. Guess that's not how the game works. I call. Has he had all his umbilical cords for dinner? <sighs> he looks like he probably has, to be fair. Let me handle this boy. Boy. Oh, that was an okay Kratos. Boy. Stun. No, it's gone now. Let's do this! Do the shinobi truffle. Taste my kush. Yep, I do. You don't want to get out of it now, fairly lively. Or I'll tear you to tatters. Come on! Oh, Jesus. Feck! Alright, come on. Let's do this the right way. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Come on. Shit. Oh. Cutscene. That's my arm gone. Huh. Joke's on you. You always use my right arm. Oh, you think you're fair? Cool. You're not. 
Yeah. I'm not good at the game. Ah, fine. One less thing for me to worry about. I have enough to be doing. Oh, getting some Savile vibes off that lad now. Don't be letting him near the kid. Come on, get up, you lazy bollocks. Get up! Ooh. Enticing. I'll have a knobbledy knee competition. Oh, this reminds me of that uh, part in Red Dead when you go to your man's gaff in the swamp and you wake up after he's uh, knocked you out. Don't trust this lad and what he did when I was asleep. This is a bit... And I'm going to cut that out. That was a bit much. But it did happen in Red Dead. Cool. Hello. Who are all your friends? Did you make those? They weren't people once, were they? You old creep. Right, we've got our shinobi prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi. No, I don't think that's a thing, is it? Passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently to design with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and it's stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. It's good to know that it's been impeccably maintained and not just kind of slapped together. This looks very odd. This looks like a graveyard. This is like a mass grave sort of a thing. I don't really like that. Okay, we'll call this the end of episode one of HFT Gaming. I'm trying not to say her first time because bad branding, blah, blah, blah. That's what we used to call the channel. Not anymore. Uh, I've been Hayden. Laura will probably be down for the next few. Maybe not the next part because I'm going to keep playing this for the next few hours. I might edit it and try and get up the first one today. Who knows? Goodbye. Please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching this with me. And hopefully you come on this journey for the rest of it with me. Bye bye. Love you.